Meg Munn is the UK's Foreign Office Minister for Diversity and Equality. Addressing this gathering of influential women diplomats, she said that although much had been achieved, much remained to be done in the field of equality and women's rights. Today we're looking at preventing and resolving conflict. It's one of the four key international goals that we've taken on in the Foreign Office uh, in our new strategy, and one that needs to consider both the roles of men and women. For centuries, the resolution of conflict by force was seen as the unique preserve of men. In recent times, however, we've seen women and children become as much the victims of conflict and as men. Indeed, uh, the use of rape and uh, forced violence on, on women as a, as a weapon of war is unfortunately too well known to us. Equally, terrorist attack are just as likely to affect women as men. We're still a huge long way from, from women's equality, whether you talk about the House of Commons with only 20% of MPs are, are women, or whether you're talking about uh, girls in school throughout the world. There's a great deal still to do, and I think we can, by coming together, focus on specific issues. Today we're looking at the role of women in preventing conflict and, and in peacekeeping, and I'm, we know that that can make a real difference if you involve women, so we're going to be hearing from, um, about that from a number of people. Contributing to the debate was Dr. Perna Sen, the Head of Human Rights at the Commonwealth Secretariat. I think women have really put women's issues and agendas on a public domain in a way which really hadn't been seen before, say, up to the mid-70s. And in particular, I would say violence against women has led in this agenda, and that's been very much through the efforts of women activists and women victims who've been brave enough to say this matters. And I think one of the most important developments over the last... 25 to 30 years has been the acceptance of that agenda in public policy debates and particularly in the human rights framework and I think that actually provides us a future for taking human rights and women's rights and women's issues uh, forward in a very positive collaborative way. On a lighter note, Meg Munn told of a recent conference of ministers abroad at which she found old-fashioned sexism was still alive. At lunchtime, I headed to the room I'd been told to go to. The way was barred to me, and I was told, this is for heads of delegation only. Um, and uh, I had to just inform them that I was the minister. And then I subsequently um, had a long conversation with somebody who kept asking me where in the Foreign Office I worked. They were absolutely convinced that I must be an employee. And I go, no, no, I am, I am the minister. <laughs>